Hello everyone, my name is Andrea. Welcome to AKB Bags and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, hello again. So today um, I wanted to expound on how I sell the steps I go through before I sell on Poshmark and Mercari. I got some questions from Kindness Matters, love your name, um, about more details of fees and, um, you know, my experience and also, you know, how I list. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. So I'm just going to start from the beginning on it when I'm deciding whether a, an item needs to go. And I've sold shoes, I've sold handbags of course, I've sold wallets, I've sold pants, jeans, I, you name it I have sold it <laughs> on these Poshmark um, and Mercari both. So um, let's just start out with a handbag that I'm thinking about selling. So I'm going to, I have a list here, um, things I do before I actually list the item. So first thing is I want to know how much I paid for that handbag. And typically I keep the, the tags in the pocket. So I always know, but then again, I could look at the record, say if it's coach or Dooney or Michael Kors, I can look on the website, show my purchase history, and then I'll know how much I paid. And this is another reason I look for those deals because if I do get tired of a bag and I want to resell it, I don't want to lose a bunch of money. So, um, so first thing is to see what I paid. The second thing is I want to type in Michael Kors and whatever the bag is called, the style. And, and I want to pop that in Mercari and see what listings pop up. I want to see what they're listing those bags for. I want to know what kind of condition they're in. You know, because a lot of mine, you know, I have a lot of bags. So mine are very good to excellent condition when I sell them. So that's how I gauge how much I'm going to list it for based on my condition. And then also their condition along with the same style. So that's the first thing you need to do. Start researching. Always research because you don't want to overprice and you don't want to underprice and lose money, right? <laughs> the next thing I do is I I already showed a video of how I sell from beginning to end. I you know I clean up the bag and how I package, but you know first before that you want to clean up your outside of the bag and inside. Make sure you're not leaving money because I have found money in bags before. <laughs> And I know several others have too, but that's a bonus. But I, I don't want to leave my money in that bag. So be sure and clean it all out. Make sure that when you list it, if you have a dust bag, anything that you're including, tags, dust bag, every single side picture underneath, inside, outside, every flaw, take a picture of it all. That way you're covered in, if they try to dispute your listing. Now on to the Poshmark fees and then I'll go into the Mercari fees. So um, Poshmark, any sales that are under $15, it's a flat rate of $2.95. Anything over $15, it's 20% that they take. So right off the bat, Poshmark is going to take 20% because most of my items are over $15. So. You have to keep that in mind when you're listing it. Um, but the Poshmark comes with a free shipping label. Um, it also uh, free credit card processing. They have customer support and sales tax is automatically calculated for you. And it sends it to the state wherever the buyer is from. Cause some states, um, you know, their taxes are, they vary all over the place. Now on to Mercari fees, they have a 10% fee uh, of a minimum that they take automatically, plus 
they take 2.9% plus 50 cents per sale based on the sale and shipping. So they get a cut, you know, around 13% after it's all said and done of the fees for Mercari. So Mercari, you get more of your money that you're selling than with Poshmark. 20% versus 13%. So I prefer to sell on Mercari, but I always list on both of them. And I've never had one sell at the exact same time. <laughs> but um, if I sell one on one platform, I immediately deactivate, delete the listing from the other platform. That's how I do it. Mercari also, um, you choose, do you want USPS, do you want UPS, or do you want FedEx? And I usually pick the, the lesser amount one. And I typically pick uh, UPS. And then on Mercari, you have to, is your, is your box under a certain weight? Like, is it a pound? Is it two pounds? And three, and it goes on up from there. You know, some of these Dooney and Burke bags are heavy. So you want to make sure that you're charging the right amount or you're probably going to be the one that, ends up paying for that extra. So be sure and, you know, make sure you know the weight. <clears throat> so on Poshmark, they have an offer button where you can, if you're listing it for a hundred and say you want to take 80 of it home, like of your earnings for it, and that's your bottom line, you got to know your bottom line before you even start. To Like if you, if you're asking a hundred dollars and you want to at least earn 80 you got to calculate calculate that ahead of time so you won't lose any money so they have an offer button like I was saying and then on that's on Poshmark you can offer you know a discount if someone likes your your bag or your item you can offer them uh, a discounted price and you can also offer them cheaper shipping but it does cut into your earnings. And then on Mercari, there is the, you can promote the item, which um, also edits it, like it goes down a little bit, uh, and or you can just edit the item to lower the, the price that you want. So those are the first questions of the fees. The next question was, do you mark up your bags to to a percentage in order to receive the amount you desire minus fees? And the short answer is yes, but do I always follow that? No. <laughs> it depends on do I want to sell it fast or do I want to hold on to it because I know it's worth more money? You know, you have to ask yourself you know, do you want a quick sale or do you want to get what you, in your mind, what it's worth? So that is up to you. But yeah, I, I try to get close to what I paid, like I said, because most of mine are like new condition. That doesn't always happen. Um, but, you know, you live and learn. I've, I've had, I'll get into that in a minute, but I've had a lot of sales and um, like it, the thumbnail, I've made over $4,000 of extra money selling different things. So yes and no on do I mark them up? Primarily yes. Have I had any bad experiences selling my items? Bad experiences? No, not really. Um, have I gotten a few four star ratings out of five? I've had a few of those. I had a recent sale of a Dooney and Burke bag. I carried it a handful of times, pristine condition, hardly used. I had stuffing inside of it and they bought it and then they uh, tried to dispute it on Mercari. I don't know if I mentioned that. It was on Mercari. They tried to dispute it saying that the bag smelled and the bag never, it, it wasn't a vintage bag. It was a, maybe a few years old, but I would have smelt an odor myself because I have a very high <laughs> sense of smell. But yeah, and so they disputed this and wanted to send it back, which kind of irritated me. So that's the first time that's really happened to me because I disclose everything. And if it's in fair condition, I will tell you it's in fair condition. So they disputed it. And Mercari actually sided with me. 
Um, it, cause I said there was no smell. I, I mean, I would have told you in the description if there was a smell. So I, that experience is not great. Um, but I, I actually won, so not a bad experience. Um, Poshmark, I haven't really had any bad ones. Um, I've had a couple, like three or four, four star ratings and they said something about, uh, shipping or it wasn't as described, but they were getting a pristine condition item. Um, I think they were my husband's shoes and he, he is a shoe lover. I'm a handbag lover. He's a shoe lover and he cleans his shoes constantly. And these are ones that he just didn't really wear. So I knew that they were exactly what we described in the description. Before I get into the breakdown of how many sales I've done, I want to tell you a story about a Brighton bag I thrifted and it, I paid $16.96 for a Brighton bag and it was called the Jagger Crossbody and it was basically brand new and I have a video, it's old, <laughs> um, about a year old and uh, so I go to thrift stores and look for bargains of name brand, um, not clothing, but purses. I, I know a lot about purses, so I, while I'm in the thrift store, I'll be getting my phone out looking, you know, looking up details of, is this worth me buying? Because now a lot of things are marked up. Um, but usually I try to go on the, uh, to the thrift store when they're half off, because that's when you can make the higher profit. But so this Brighton bag, I paid $16.96 and I looked up the retail for, it was called the Jagger Crossbody and it was a metallic color and I'll pop, I'll try to pop up a picture up here and the, it was in the color Zinc Pearl. Retail for it on the website was $395. I was like, oh, <laughs> grab and go. Um, so I ended up selling that purse for $180. Well, it was on Poshmark, so you know I had the fees. <laughs> but I still earned $144 after the sale. So after they took their fees, I came out looking really good. <laughs> so my advice is uh, garage sales and thrift stores and when they're half off, that's when you need to go. <laughs> Estate sales, I mean, if you can get you know, a good, nice bag for, you know, make a profit, then I would totally grab it. <laughs> Unless you liked it enough to keep it yourself. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a really good profit. Um, I wanted to share that experience with you. So now, I wanted to tell you how long I've been on Poshmark and then how long I've been on Mercari. So I've been on Poshmark the longest and I've been on there since 2017. And I have made a total of $2,191.44 on Poshmark. Mercari, I didn't get on there until 2019. And I've, I make more money on Mercari, so I really try to push Mercari. <laughs> and I've have since 2019, sold $1,831.33. Yes. <laughs> so a total of $4,022.77. And that's since 2017 is when I started all that selling. <laughs> Before that, I probably did garage sales and stuff, but not near the profit that I can make um, on, you know, the name brand handbags that I can on Poshmark and Mercari. I know some people don't trust either one of them. Some people trust eBay more. You know, I've had a total of 52 sales on Poshmark and only four four-star ratings. And then I've had 41 sales on Mercari and they total it up with your buying and selling. You have to rate the buyer and the seller on Mercari. So there's 84 total ratings on that one. I've sold a lot of items. So another tip of when to sell. Um, she didn't ask this question, but this is important. 
One is Sundays seem to be the biggest sales. So promote your items on Sundays or throw out offers on Sundays because that's when people are on their phone more. Same way with YouTube. I feel like people are on their phone more in the afternoon and evenings right before, you know, they hit the bricks for the next day. But yeah, Sundays seem to be a, a day of sales. Um, but also the time of year is important. During tax time, when people are getting that tax money, they want to spend. So I've sold several this year, maybe three or four, right around tax time. And another uh, time of year is around fall to more like Christmas time. Promote those items, edit them to the lowest you want to take. Those are the times you need to, to list. Um, right now, Poshmark and Mercari is slow just like YouTube is <laughs> kind of a slow time of year because everyone's out or they're, you know, taking vacations, swimming, you know, have their kids home. They're not watching as much. They're not selling or buying as much of the items as much as the fall and the tax time of year. So you want to do from January, February sales and March and then relist with new ones um, during September, October. This time of year, I'm not selling nothing. <laughs> so um, it's, it, I've sold a couple of things. That's not true. I've sold a couple of things, but it's slowed way down. So I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any more questions, um, you know, I've, I've had a lot of sales and I haven't had that much bad luck with it. So if you have any further questions or that I missed, then f feel free to ask me and I'll be happy to answer any questions on Poshmark and Mercari. But the, you know, this is my experience. It's not everybody else's experience. I've heard some horror stories, but that can happen with any of the resale sites. You could have horror stories with any of them. <laughs> But um, I appreciate you all watching. I hope you stuck through this and got something out of it. And if you don't mind, hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below if you've sold on Poshmark and Mercari and how, how was your experience on it. Um, but for now, I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.